time for a power-packed Monday show. I am above suspicion in any way that involves suspicion or testing of any kind. Women's clothing retailer BB is shutting down, planning to close all 175 of its brick and mortar stores by the end of next month. Walk away, it's over. You're going to kill me for this, but I gave you the wrong phone number. You're going to have to do it again. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Chelsea mentioned that she feels you've fallen into a rut. A rut? We're not in a rut. You know what a therapist calls this kind of a relationship, right? A gold mine. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Fox News has renewed the X-Files for another season following the rating success of last year's revival. Season 11 will once again star David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson returning in their roles as FBI agents Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. It will deliver 10 episodes, up from 6 from season 10. Erin Moran, best known for her role as Joni Cunningham on the sitcoms Happy Days and its spin-off Joni Loves Chachi, has died. She was 56. Moran was found on Saturday afternoon by Harrison County, Indiana dispatch officers responding to an unresponsive female report. Upon arriving at the scene, officers identified Moran and she was pronounced dead at the scene. No cause of death has been announced. Rest in peace, Aaron Moran. The fate of the Furious did so well at the box office, they're already making the next one. But it looks like it's going to be geared toward a younger audience. Coming soon to theaters, Fart of the Furious. Get ready for one of the most explosive movies of the year. Hang on to your ass! Fire! That was complete destruction. Fart of the Furious. You ready? One thing I can guarantee, no one's ready for this. Starring Vin Diesel. I got no choice! Charlize Theron. This should be interesting. They're all mine. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Phase two. Phase two? What's phase two? Bounds away. Now it's my turn. And featuring special guest star Kurt Russell. Oh, it took longer than I expected. All right, you get style points for that one. Woo! Fart of the Furious. President Trump had dinner in the White House with Ted Nugent, Kid Rock, and Sarah Palin. And that, my friends, is what you call a joke that needs no punchline. Bill O'Reilly will reportedly get $25 million in severance from Fox News. The lesson here? Being a misogynistic blowhard predator is very, very lucrative. Major League Baseball is planning to have a game of Thrones theme night at stadiums across the country. Instead of bobbleheads, fans will receive actual severed heads. The last orca has been born at SeaWorld. The breeding program was ended due to concerns from animal rights groups and due to the continuing complaints from neighbors over the extremely loud whale sex. Queen Elizabeth turned 91 Friday. She credits her longevity to a proper diet exercise, and never having to do any actual work. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. The Census Bureau released a study detailing what makes millennials different from every other generation. Which is great, because if there's one thing millennials desperately need, it's another reminder of just how special they are. Hey, millennials, nobody gives a f- a Navy SEAL may be suspended for moonlighting as a porn star. During the day, he was a lieutenant. At night, a rear admiral. Hey, SEALs, nobody gives a f And the two most popular baby names for 2017 are Emma and Liam. The least popular baby name, United O'Reilly. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.